we've done the four brothers which we haven't done for a while there's been a little bit of internal politics as i'm sure all of you guys who are in families understand families don't often it's in my experience and it's very rare that i meet families that are just in general harmony most of the time and don't seem to have the ups and downs but with me and one of my brothers the, the oldest of my three brothers harry we we bump heads pretty much all the time I put it down to the, you know, oh, we were sort of brought up in an environment that was very combative and volatile. And, um, yeah, unfortunately, we've sort of inherited in an intrinsic way between us in our, you know, I try not, I don't think I'm like it in my relationships outside of my family. But I think there's that much gone on that we, we just bump heads and we disagree and... Um, I think I just generally get up his nose, which is understandable. Um, so, yeah, we've not been able to do Four Brothers again, but from episode, I think it was, was it six and eight and ten, was lockdown. So lockdown kicked in. And so true to form of this podcast coming around, which was to speak truth, to speak the mind, to, to have free speech, to look at life, the fascination with human beings, we thought, no, we'll carry on doing these podcasts and I set up the situation to do um, video, to go into video and do video. And so with my brothers, it was a great thing professionally because it was a great opportunity to come in here, check out the gear, get together. We're in an isolated studio. Like my little Chew the Chat Studio 52 is an isolated studio. It's not, you don't see people to get here. It's tucked out of the way. Um, and we were brothers. We're all in each other's bubble, if you will. And, uh, and we're in an isolated place. So we took a gamble and we said, no, we're going to do the podcast anyway. Um, and on the other side of it, referring to my point making at the start of the Four Brothers talk here, which was, you know, the turbulence that we grew up in and me being the oldest and us all, you know, the youngest of us, I was 26 years old. So I wanted to try and create a situation, an environment where we could get together away from the from the bullshit, from the fucking poxy happy birthday meal for one of us that we're all going to go to because, the, you know, the, our family seem to just think by ticking the boxes of, you know, the ex, whatever the neighbours will say seems to be being a family. And, and, and you know, you don't, you don't be a family like that. That's not how you're a family. If you're not bonded, if you're not together, if you're not supportive of one another, if you're not in each other's lives because you choose to, because you want to be, because you just spend time. If all you do is turn up to the obligatory meals and have the photo and tick the box and here's the card and I love you, have a happy birthday. And then we all go on our way and we're all sort of, everybody around a table knows we're not where we need to be and it's unhealthy and you haven't said sorry to him and you never mentioned what happened there to that. Yeah, no, all that bullshit. So Four Brothers for me was just as much more so, actually, probably, a, a way of trying to create an environment for me and my brothers to get together away from the wider politics and the and the little seven-minute soundbite meals that we get to sort of quickly exchange. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. You're busy, yeah, busy, fucking whatever, playing football, doing this, doing that. And actually get into a couple of three hours of conversation and opening things up. And on top of that, having it relaxing, having some lubricant, having some drinks, having some smoke and and just really getting to know each other. And... and by episode, the third episode we did, which I think was number 10, which is our, was the first episode we actually, we recorded with video. Um, I felt like we were starting to get that. You know, you guys might not, not know it, having watched it, or if you haven't watched it, if you do watch it. But I noticed it with the guys just when they came in here, like for the third time they came in here when we met up and they come in, drop the bags, hook up, have a quick chat, sit down, put the headphones on and just get comfortable in front of the mic and exchange of ideas and the flow of conversation we got a bit better at not talking over each other and being a bit excited and it really started to come together and I, I you know there's a couple of moments where Joseph and I think Harry who've had difficult times in the past connecting and you know just being with one another you know they they had a couple of moments which were really nice and I thought oh man it's working you know we're actually we're actually dropping all the bullshit and leaving it at the door and just finding out who we are today and who we're going to be tomorrow and not living on the versions of ourselves that have been confused and contaminated via the environment before. So those three episodes were good fun. If you like to have a drink, that's, you know, and that part of this podcast, which I like to do, which I like to keep true to my life, which is to hook up with friends, have a drink, have a smoke, just 
chew the chat and just shoot shit. I know that those those were filling that gap, and that was great. Hopefully, in the future, we can do it again. But um, you know, whether it's three of us, um, we'll see. We'll see. But they were great episodes.